Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakah Kodash, Barakata. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth, who rule well, and who labor in this word, giving us Akim across the four corners of this globe, the proper breakdowns of these scriptures all through the power of the Rakah Kodash. I also want to give a sincere peace, blessings, and salutations to all of you Akim across the four corners of the globe that are out here pushing this gospel, which is the good news in all truthfulness and sincerity. You so-called Negroes, you so-called Latinos, you so-called Native Americans, as well as you confusion of faces who look like the other 17 heathen nations, but in fact and indeed, your bloodline goes back to the seed of a so-called Negro, a so-called Latino, a so-called Native American, making you one of the Heavenly Father's chosen people and one of the hopeful elects, okay? So with that, uh, this video is going to be uh, based upon a video that I watched uh, earlier by the Apostle Gabar, uh, the Daily Edification, uh, and the Elder Apostle, uh, it's on his channel, GMS Walking Talk 8. And he did a video, I don't know if it was today or if I was just catching up from yesterday, a video on slavery, man. You can hear how it just brought joy to the uh, elder apostle's, uh, you know, heart, his mind, to bring out the, pre the scriptures and the precepts on um, slavery. And he says so, starting with you Edomites, because see, all of you heathen nations, every last one of you are going into captivity under the Israelites. And who are the Israelites? The Israelites are the so-called Negroes, the so-called Latinos, and the so-called Native Americans, as well as those confusion of faces who look like you other nations, but actually their bloodline goes back to a so-called Negro, a so-called Latino, and a so-called Native American. And he, the Apostle Gabar said, uh, you know, if any brothers, I can want to do a video on it to join in. So, hey, the spirit jumped on me to do this right now. So my first scripture that I'm going to go to, this is going to be the book of Revelations. And all these are milk scriptures, oldies, but, but goodies, okay? And they can keep coming out. Revelations, they're going to keep coming out. Revelations chapter 13, of starting at verse 9 and 10. And it reads, if any man have an ear, let him hear. Now, we all got two ears, okay? What this is speaking about is a spiritual ear because we can all hear the same thing, but do we understand it, okay? So uh, read this again. This is the book of Revelations, chapter, so like a Revelation, chapter 13, starting at verse 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. Speaking of that spiritual ear. Verse 10, he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. Okay? So, Khan, let me read that again. Revelation 13 and 10. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. So, what this is speaking about is all of those of you 17 other heathen nations that led the nation of Israel into captivity, whether it was the so-called Negro, the so-called Latino, and the so or the so-called Native American, you are going to go into captivity, okay? Con. It says, he that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. So all of you other heathen nations that killed Israelites uh, by the sword, with the gun, with any type of instrument, hung them, lynch them, the same is going to happen to you, okay? Minus guns. We're not going to need guns in the kingdom, but we sure are going to have swords. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints, okay? Because we, what, what does the word patience mean? Patience means to suffer. We're suffering right now. I know for a fact that I'm better than the so-called white man, than the so-called Chinese man, than the so-called Japanese man, than the so-called African uh, man, okay, a so-called Arab man, uh, a so-called uh, East Indian, okay, I'm better than all of them put together on any fucking level, it's just that right now, 
I'm the tail and they're the head over us because we went off and we're being punished right now. But guess what? Our punishment is coming to an end. All right. Uh, and that word patience means to suffer because we are suffering right now. All right. And the faith of the saints. Now, who are the saints? Well, let's find that. Let's go. Let's see who the saints are. OK, this is going to be the book of Psalms. Uh, I'm going to go with chapter uh, 148. And let's see. Con, con. This is Psalms 148. And I'm going to start at verse 13. Let them praise the name of the Lord. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. So like you, I give about that. For his name alone is excellent. His glory is above the earth and heaven. Who are going to praise the name of the Lord? Only the Israelites, okay? And namely, right now, only the elect of Israel, okay? Let them praise the name of the Lord. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Now, I'm going to come back to the Psalms 148, but another precept just jumped in my head. This is how the Spirit is, okay? I didn't have this precept written down or this next precept I'm about to get. Before we go back into uh, Psalms, this is going to, we're going into the Apocrypha. This is going to be the book of Sirach, chapter 17 and verse 10. This is how you know the elect are going to, are the ones who are going to praise his name. And it reads, and the elect shall praise his holy name. Okay. Now, going back into uh, Psalms 148. Uh, Khan. For his name alone is excellent. His glory is above the earth and heaven. Verse 14. He also exalted the horn of his people. The praise of all his saints. Even of the children of Israel. A people near unto him. Praise ye the Lord. Yahweh. Bahashem. Yahweh Shai. So come man. The saints are the ones who are being patient. And have faith man. They have faith that they're that the Heavenly Father is gonna send his son, Yahweh Shai, back here to topple this devil, man. Okay? And we're gonna be on top. We're gonna be the new ruling class. Okay, like the scripture says. Matter of fact, we're gonna get it. This is the this is the book of um let me see. I wanna we're going back into the apocrypha, uh second Ezra chapter six, and I believe I'm gonna start at verse seven. God. Then answered I, and this is Ezra speaking, the prophet Ezra. Then answered I and said, What shall be the parting asunder of the times? Or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? And this is Ezra speaking to the angel Uriel, okay? And he said unto me, From Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau. Kind. Going back to uh, Genesis chapter 25 and uh, verse 25, uh, how uh, that's symbolic for Esau, the so-called white man coming out of power, and Jacob, the Jakes, we call, we say Jakes short for Jacob, who are the so, so-called Negroes, the so-called Latinos, and the so-called Native Americans who are going to be on top. Verse 9, here's the point. Hold on, I can select you in one second. Select you about that, I can count. Verse 9. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Okay? Yeah, so Esau is the end of this world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. So, Khan. Uh, going back into Psalms 148 uh, in verse 14, he also exalted the horn of his people, the praise of all his saints. So now we know who the saints are. All right. Uh, even of the children of Israel, a people near unto him, praise ye the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So, Khan, you uh, other nations, y'all going into captivity. And I remember when I. So like when I first came into this truth uh, that 
the one of the apostles said that Esau is going to go into uh, into uh, captivity, kicking and screaming, man. And these uh, devils are going to go into captivity, kicking and screaming. Should they kicking and screaming right now? So, Khan, uh, about to get my next precept. This is going to be, we're going to go into the book of, back into the Apocrypha, uh, the book of Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach, chapter um, 16 and verse 13. And it reads, the sinner shall not escape with his spoils and the patience of the godly shall not be frustrated. Okay, let me read that again. Sirach, chapter 16. In verse 13, the sinner shall not escape with his spoils and the patience of the godly shall not be frustrated. Kind. Because what did it say? Uh, let's go back here in Revelations uh, chapter 13 and verse 10. Uh, Revelations chapter 13 and verse 10. And it reads, he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here's the patience and the faith of the saints. So kind, as long as the elect, the elect are going to remain faithful, okay? It's not going to be frustrating, man. Your, your patience, which is your suffering, it's not going to be frustrating, okay? So kind, with that, uh, I want to get my next precept. And this is going to be... The book of Exodus, chapter uh, 21, and verse 16, and it reads, And he that stilleth a man, and selleth him, or if he be found in his hand, he shall surely be put to death. And we are still to this day found in you devil's hands, man. We're still found in all of you uh, heathen nation's hands, okay? We're still captive under y'all. That's why they have that, uh, uh, and like in you Elamites, who your biblical nationality are the Elamites, but today you call yourselves East Indians and Pakistanians. Y'all have a caste system, man, a caste system over the Israelites. You so-called Chinese people, you Moabites, y'all have a caste system over the Israelites, all right? This is, we're going to read this again, Exodus chapter 21 and verse 16, and it reads, And he that stilleth a man... And selleth him, or if he be found in his hand, he shall surely be put to death. Shit, we still found in your hands to this day over here in America, which is modern day Babylon and spiritually uh, Sodom. Okay, Egypt and is spiritually Egypt and Sodom. Okay, so Khan, uh, it says he shall surely be put to death. So you uh, heathens. Starting with Edomites, Esau, on down, 